Let's splurge. Let's have some fun. Because I am so happy with what they did to Vatu. I wrote a wish list of things that I think they should have done to Vatu to make him in a much healthier state. And they did every single one to the letter. They gave him a reload animation cancel to make him feel more fluid to play, like his peers in the flank class. Eevee, uh, Maeve doesn't have a reload, so, you know, she feels fluid to play. Uh, Bomb King, etc. They reduced his damage. They reverted the damage buff they gave him, which made him from S tier to SS tier. So that's gone. That's great. They removed the damage reduction on dash because Vatsu could basically just bathe in damage reduction the entire match between his dash and then the DR cards that he has normally in his build. And they also reworked Enveloping Shadows. Originally, they nerfed Enveloping Shadows by slapping an internal cooldown on it. When they did that, I suggested, hey, what if we made it on a per kunai basis? If you hit one kunai, you get 3% damage, or 3% uh, cooldown reduction. If you hit two kunai, you get six. If you get three kunai, you get nine. No internal cooldown required. That's exactly what they just did. That's exactly how this talent works. So I literally got everything I want. <laughs> I think I, as Mr. Paladins, can take credit for every single one of these suggestions. Is that a reasonable thing to say? If you guys have been following the Twitch for a while, you know I've talked about this, like, a lot. So, I'm I'm super happy for this. I'm going to play my main build. This is normally an Enveloping Shadows build. Double DR, healing on dash, range on ambush. I really like this build. We'll see how good I do, though. We are three hours into the stream, though, so... <clears throat> We'll, we'll see <laughs> we'll see if I've played too much Paladins today. We'll, we'll see if I just uh, still suck at the game anyways. Three, also see if I've fallen off since the Vatu training stream. It has been like a month since that. So, yeah. Oh, Grover's already dead. That's bad. Well, here, have one of these and die. And then teleport into you and then die. And then check this out. Reload. 60% through. I dash and I reload anyways. Last patch, that would have completely canceled the reload. I would not have gotten any ammo back. So that just feels incredible. It's a small thing. It's technically a buff, but really it's just quality of life. It makes the character feel so much more fun and fluid to play. And really, I think that's what we should be prioritizing on Vatu, is making this char character just the most fluid, snappy, responsive, just mwah, fantastic character ever. You know? Clunkiness has a place on some characters like Atlas, but for Vatsu, oh man, this guy just needs to be buttery smooth, and I think they have now achieved that perfectly. Alright, let me dash around. You'll generally notice my cooldowns come back faster, but I am encouraged to get up close, because if I'm only hitting one or two kunai like that, I don't get much cooldown reduction. Here, let me throw some Shadow Bombs and just demonstrate. Do that. Throw some kunai. I only hit one. You see how the cooldown is barely decrementing, but then I hit two and it decrements a little bit more? That's exactly what that change is in action. Ooh, hello. Alright, I'm alive. Thank you, team. Oh, that was that was cool. <laughs> I got him. Let's go. Andrew over here making it all about him. I mean, this change is kind of all about me. I, I had no part in some of the other changes, like Octavia, but I feel comfortable taking a little bit of credit for suggesting these. Mr. Paladin has also got Cassie sent back into obscurity. Well, I mean, I think everybody got Cassie sent back into obscurity with the flash shot change, and rightfully so. Because the blast shot just... Pfft. That that was not a fun thing to play against. At all. Boom, got him. Come here! Is that Feisty Jalapeno with his goofy name? I think it is. What is Bozo doing playing Tyra in my payload match, huh? Man, that reload animation cancel feels so good, though. It's so responsive. I love it, man. Your team has reached a checkpoint. We did it. Yeah, they really need to play a sound cue for that, though, just to really finish the deal. Finish the package. Did I stun him? Where did he go? No, I missed him! Ah, oh, man. Too many enemies on me. I really wanted to take that sky battle, though. Yeah, checkpoints are a blessing in payload. They really just complete the mode. I think we can say now that apart from some minor things, like... Tiny map issues, and, uh... Well, the fact that the checkpoints don't have audio and the UI is a little bugged. I think we can officially say payload is complete now. And the fundamental thing about the checkpoints is that they work mechanically. Like, the, the cooldown... Or, uh, the, not the cooldown, the, uh, the, the timer 
uh, going up when you reach checkpoint, that works perfectly, and that's what matters. And honestly, man, payload on the PTS is such an enjoyable experience. Usually the only people on PTS are people who are actually good at the game, and when you have a payload lobby where everyone's actually decent, like, wow, it's close, it's fun. And these maps are such a fun playground. Okay, well, let me help kill you, and let me dash back here. Help kill you, there we go. Dash up here, dude, that reload animation cancel is just so natural. That's the thing I do on Eevee all the time, like, I'll reload and then blink like that. And I can do that on Vatu now, too. Man. I'm gonna play so much Vatu after this change. Like, I wish I could just play him for the rest of the stream, but I can't, because I have to test other things. But, you know, when I get some spare time, maybe I'll do another Vatu drinking stream or something. <laughs> it's just so good. It's just so, so good. Too bad Raylink can still kill you 290 balls. Yeah, well, you know. <clears throat> Progress is slow, and they've done a lot of good things this update. They can't do all the good things in one update. That would be too much. Too much work. <laughs> Need the same thing for Koga's dashes? Does he not have that? I don't play Koga enough to know, actually. And most of the time I buy Deft Hand, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dude, alright. Dodged a bullet with that fear. By the way, you know, they removed the DR on dash, but as the Vatu player, I'm not noticing that much of a dip in survivability. I feel like if I die, it's fair. You know? Like I should have died there anyways. And I'm sure the enemies, when they do hit a skillful shot on me, appreciate that their damage isn't getting nerfed. I think it's a very good change. I've been sitting here for two hours watching TikTok while you play in the background. Hmm. TikTok, huh? Man. <laughs> Part of me has just constantly in the background is wondering, like, should I make a TikTok and re-upload all my YouTube shorts over there? How much money would that even make? How much exposure would that get me? Part of me, though, just uh, just wants nothing to do with TikTok. Sometimes my friends will send me TikToks, and it's just pure brain rot. For a social media influencer, I'm really bad at the social media thing. Like, I don't have a TikTok. I don't have an Instagram. I don't do anything like that. Soga has a reload animation cancel, says Dark Wolf. I'm getting some mixed signals here. I might just go to the shooting range and test it when this match is over, if I remember. A Sarah's feed TikTok? Oh, I can be like the official Overwatch account. Chat, do you guys remember when, uh, I, it was, uh, I think on Wednesday's stream? We were talking about how Blizzard is a little freaky with it when it comes to, like... Oh, that, that was also weird UI for a second. That was distracting. But how, how they were a little freaky. <laughs> some, some of the people in the marketing have, uh, a weird obsession with feet. Well, they, they... <laughs> Just recently, uh, does someone have a link to the thing, like, just ready to go? There's a link to the thing somewhere. Actually, hold on, I remember. Memes chat. Ah, yes, here it is. Look at this. Official Play Overwatch account. October 16th, three days ago, and it's just an account obsessing over the feet of one of their new Kiriko skins. Ah, yes. I don't know how the... Feisty. So that's why the game lagged. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the marketing people have not been fired for that. I guess maybe the higher-ups at Overwatch who hire the people who do the marketing also like feet. <laughs> Which, I mean, hey, good for you. I'm not kink-shaming. But, like, it's just, you know... Is that really how you want to market your skins? Anyways, yeah, that is Feisty Jalapeno, and he has replaced his teammates with Makoa. I mean, pretty cool. I like Makoa, but, like, um, Feisty. <laughs> Feisty, you're trolling my PTS right now, when I just want to play Vatsu. Good thing the bots are stupid. All right, let me see. Yoink. Hello, ambush. Miss a bunch of shots, die to Maldamba. He's just better than me. I forgot how to play the game for a second. They're too overwhelmed by the sheer amount of Makoas right now. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that kind of marketing will work for a lot of people. I guess it does. You know what? It gets people talking about the Overwatch skins. I don't play Overwatch anymore, but here I am talking to my audience of 140 viewers about how the Overwatch account likes feet. And hey, there's a new Kiriko skin you can buy. 
<laughs> that looks pretty cool, I guess. So, you know, shock advertising or something. Boom, got him. There we go. Kill the only real Makoa right now. Whoa, hey, Vod277. Seven, seven. Hey, buddy, can you not? Hmm. Bruh, oh, I'm dead. Crap. Wait, we have Makoas too. Oh, I didn't know we had Makoas. I thought it was just the enemies. I thought Faisu was cheating. I guess he made it fair. Well, okay. Free you advertisement, truly a Paladin streamer, yes. I tested more at 60% and can't, I can confirm now when exactly. Yeah, most of them are around 60%. Vatu's is around 60% too. If I just do this and then dash at about 50%, doesn't get it, but around 60% it does. Yeah, the marketing is too big brain for us mortals to comprehend, yeah. Hey, buddy. What if I leech your mobility and then get hooked? No. Ah. We might actually lose this, but to be honest, the second round is entirely scuffed by what uh, Feisty just did. So I don't think it really matters, and I think my point has definitely been demonstrated by how much smoother Vatu feels to play. This new talent feels excellent. It works super consistently. It feels very fair, which is important. As the Vatu player, I'm not feeling too hurt by the DR on dash being removed, but I'm sure the enemies have noticed it when they shoot me while I'm dashing. Crap! Dude, I just wanted to kill Tyra. Okay, thank you, Ruckus. The reload animation cancel feels phenomenal. The damage nerf, or reversion rather, is fair, I think. Um, much better than what it was previously. It feels good to use. Doesn't feel as disgustingly overpowered. But I can still kill things. It's just, it's flawless, and I'm going to play so much Vatu after this rework. I just got one shot. Oh my god, dude. There are too many Makoas! It's not fair. They have a real Makoa. We have a fake Makoa. <laughs> oh my god, Feisty. Why did you do this? Sigh. Yeah, Omens is like 0%. Omens is like a third. It's real liberal. Alright, let's see. Going in with an ult. I am on fire right now. That's a minor, minor inconvenience. Ruckus is going in with an ult. Can he kill all the Makoas? They all popped half shell. Ah. Feisty, feisty Jalapeno. Ruining, ruining my payload matches again. Oh my. Jeez, what's he gonna do next? Rename me to Makoa? <laughs> what is the scoreboard? <laughs> Can I scroll down? I can't. Okay, I guess there's just, I guess there's only three enemies on the enemy team. We got, we 7v3'd and we still lost, Chad. That's embarrassing. I think I need to uninstall the game right now. I don't know.